back at beautiful Mobile Bay again. The red fire engine has its own fill site established on a boat ramp. He has a rear pump sitting in water into six inch, 20 foot of six inch hard sleeve barrel strainer on the end with a float attached. His tanker fill site is through a 100 foot of five inch hose, which comes over to a manifold. We have a guy at the manifold who is the loader. They have multiple different hoses coming off the manifold that are set up to fill the different variations of fills that they have on the back of the tanker. Uh, they're running a five and also a short piece of three inch. And then they have two pieces of three inch which have three inch cam lock fitting on the end of them. So the tankers that have, I'm sorry, not the cam lock, but the short fitting on the end of the tanker that have the short on it. Vacuum tanker is filling himself through 50 to 60 feet of six inch hard sleeve. He set up his own fill site right next to the conventional engine and they will go ahead and fill themselves. There should be two vacuum tankers in this drill. If you look at the strainer selection, everybody has placed a barrel strainer on the end of their hard sleeve. And at this boat ramp, we have three independent fill sites going. The float all the way to the left is an empty foam bucket, which is connected to a six-inch barrel strainer. There is an orange round float in the middle, which goes to this red engine right next to me. And then the red, bigger round float all the way to the right is attached to the vacuum tanker suction hose. All six-inch barrel strainers.